Hey guys, so today is a story time video about some of my favorite YouTubers that I have either been to their show, seen, or like done a meet and greet with. It's a tie into my favorite YouTubers video that I did because I wanted to share this stuff, but I felt like if I included it all in one video, it would be a crazy long video. Before editing my favorite YouTubers, it was a 22 minute like sit down and talking um like video on at least like on my camera it said 22 minutes and something seconds so i thought i would make it a separate video in case you wanted to hear these stories without having to watch all the other stuff or vice versa so right here right now we are going to be talking about youtubers that i have seen okay real quick carly from the future here because i realized i forgot to mention that i also met ingrid um, i think her old username was miss glamorazzi at vidcon as well i don't know how i forgot that when i was talking about vidcon but she's super nice so here's the photo but yeah that was really fun <laughs> The other person I forgot to mention is that I was at Disneyland one day. As we were exiting, we saw Patrick Starr, the makeup artist, as we were leaving, and I got to take a selfie with him. All right, opening with the first interaction that I think I had ever with a YouTuber. I'm not sure if this was like the first, but it was a very, very early one. Um, I ran into Graveyard Girl in New York City. So the story behind that is that I was going to New York City with my cousin and I had found out that she was gonna do a meet and greet and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm in New York from Southern California and I missed Bunny's meet and greet by literally a day. And I was so devastated when I found out that she was doing a meet and greet and that I had missed it. This was like pre my Instagram and Twitter obsession, I guess. So I didn't really like know about it. I was in high school and I want to say I was like gonna be a sophomore I mean I was young so I didn't really like track all of that the way I track it now that being said I spent a lovely day in New York City we were rushing to catch the train and right outside of New York City I can still picture it one of the souvenir shops I was like rushing past it and I was going this way and she was coming this way and I was passing her and I was like oh my gosh that's bunny and so this was some years ago I will say so the details like super details are a little fuzzy but I remember stopping in my tracks and like are you bunny or like something like that and she said yes and at that point she had enough subscribers that I'm sure this was not her first like strange fan interaction but I was just like a little shocked and I know my cousin chimed in and she was like oh my gosh like she loves your videos because I like nothing was coming out I was that was my first like starstruck I guess moment this was in the era where I was like beginning to you know have this like oh my god I love YouTube type of feeling so seeing her in person and just running into her in a city of like three million people was nuts so I'll put the picture in here. Um, it is, it's funny looking back on that. It's one of my first Instagram posts that I have kept up to this day because meeting her was just such a cool moment. To run into her in the streets of New York is just like crazy to me. So I have held that photo near and dear to my heart. And that was just a really cool thing that happened. Going along the same line of sort of running into people, Catrific is the YouTuber that I like. And I actually got the meet and greet opportunity with her at VidCon and it was really cool. We got to vlog together. Okay, I just oh, met Kat. That camera's cool. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. So, this is exciting. I'm not letting her talk. I'm just interrupting. <laughs> it's really annoying her, I think, but okay, you can talk it's now. okay. And um, we're about to take a Polaroid, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are we? Oh, yeah. that's cool. I love Polaroids. <laughs> Yay. It's really cool to see her. I got introduced to her channel through Dan and Phil through their You're a Wizard Dan, I think. Dan's vlog on Dan is not interesting and it was really cool seeing her there so we talked and we vlogged and you know yada yada I was a senior well fast forward almost four years later to the end of my junior year of college and I was at the Natural History Museum at USC and I walked into an exhibit and I was like that's catrific and I happened to run into her on her birthday and it was so cool. I know she's since moved to Las Vegas from LA. So it was just really cool like 
running into her, you know, out of nowhere, out of the blue. We took a picture in the Natural History Museum, and it was really cool getting to see her again. This leads into Dan and Phil. I have not met them, like, one-on-one, -on -one, kind of like that kind of meet and greet interaction. I would love to take a photo with them. Like, I want to meet Dan and Phil, and that would just be so cool. They are the very first, well, they're some of the first YouTubers that I started watching and that I still follow to, you know, this day, I'm 22. I started watching them probably 10 years ago or so, but it would be so cool to see them. That being said, I saw them speak at a panel at VidCon. They were with Jenna Marbles and Glozell, I believe, and then them. Um, it was really cool to like see them in person. I thought it was really fun to see some of these like big names in the YouTube world come and talk to each other and interact. So that is my little like Dan and Phil thing. Going along the same route of shows, I have been to two others. I went to the Tour of Mythicality and Tyler Oakley's Slumber Party. So the Tour of Mythicality was awesome. I mean, they put so much work into that show. They told the story of how they became friends. It was really cool seeing them interact and seeing how they are in person together. It was standing room, but we had a really good spot where we could just like see them. And I had a ton of fun going to San Diego to see Rhett and Link. And again, they're another duo that I would really like to meet and like take a picture with. They're so funny. So that was really cool. And I also have their book. The Tyler Oakley slumber party was really fun as well. That was, I want to say five years ago now um, so my memory is a little hazy on it I do have a video that I'll link below of it but it was very cool to see him and Corey in person and just to see like how they are compared to on screen I actually just went and grabbed the two books that I have so this is the amazing book is not on fire and this is the book of mythicality so Dan and Phil and Brett and Link I also own some other YouTube merch, but if I went and grabbed all of it, I mean, I'd have to like tear apart my closet and my drawers and just like everything because I have a good Mythical Morning t-shirt, I have a BuzzFeed Unsolved hat and shirt, I have a Try Guys um, shirt, I have the good Mythical Morning coin for their 1000 episodes, I have two Dan and Phil shirts, I just have like a bunch of stuff I've been collecting over the years that I just like wear to the gym or wear to bed or just like I have it now so <laughs> but those are the two these were the two things that were within arm's reach meeting Shane and Ryan twice now has been really really cool so the first year I met them was at Midsummer Scream I felt like at that point they were kind of gaining popularity so when we went to see them at the panel I believe they played a full episode of the what was it they played a full episode of one of their videos and then they came out and talked at a panel and then their meet and greet was so much more relaxed than the second meet and greet that I went to because the first time around Literally, I took a picture on my phone, I took a selfie, we vlogged. We can Is see this gonna be our us. bewildered looks into the camera? Hello, vlog Hi. camera! I'm here with um, Shane and Ryan from BuzzFeed Unsolved and it's really exciting. It's very, yeah, yeah, it's very, very exciting. exciting. Yeah, we're in front of the horror wall, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being on my vlog. Of course. Thank you. And we took a Polaroid that they signed. So that was just such a cool experience. I will put that in the description box below as well. That was a whole vlog and a whole thing. I mean, that was seriously amazing. I mean, I, I remember that week uh, last last summer and I went to Midsummer Scream or I worked part of it and then I went to it and then I went to San Francisco. So it was just like a really cool time in life over the summer. And then also while I was at Midsummer Scream, this is like a side note, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Elvira, but she was there and the day that I was working, it was really cool because I got to sit in on an interview that they did with her. Like I was saying, before my camera overheated and I took a quick break, the second time I met Shane and Ryan was at Knott's Berry Farm, or not Scary Farm rather, and it was so much more like tense than the first time I met them because the first time like you could do whatever and there was no like limit, but when I met them at Knott's Berry Farm, everything was like you get one photo, they're not allowed to sign anything, that's it. And there was security and the security wasn't the nicest and 
it was just like it was a whole thing so I was with a group of people and we each took our own individual photos because we were not allowed to take a group photo but anyway I walked up to them and Ryan looked at me and was like I know you and I was thinking does he really like does he actually remember this is crazy so I was like, yeah, we met at Midsummer Scream and like we vlogged and we took a Polaroid and he was like, oh my gosh, like I remember that. I remember signing it. Like I remember you. So it was very cool to get to have that little interaction. And I really appreciate when people who have found major success stay, you know, true to their fans. And it was really awesome getting to see them. So I'll put that picture in as well because it was just such a cool little interaction that we had and I really like them. Side note, kind of like some honorable mentions, Gotham was a show that was on Fox, I believe. The kid, or not kid anymore, my goodness, he's like a grown adult person, but the person who played Bruce, his name is David, and I found out we were at Disneyland almost standing like on top of each other one of the nights that I went in this past spring and it was so annoying because the next morning I woke up and there was like a video he had taken on his story when the fireworks were happening and I was in like that same area um it's like the it was at the pretzels near Big Thunder and I was just like oh my gosh like if I had known like that would have been really cool so that stuff happens to me I feel like frequently um I'll find out people were like the same place that I was that day and I'm like oh of course um, speaking of Disneyland, that reminded me, I met one of my favorite Disneyland bloggers when I was in high school, like a junior or sophomore or something, so that was cool. But anyway, another thing that I found out was that I don't know if we went on the same night or if we just like posted it on the same day, but the beauty vault, Irina, who I talked about in my favorite YouTubers video, she and I posted pictures from Universal Studios on the same day of October of last year. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to apparently become aware of what's happening around me and keep up with these people a little bit more because they happen to be in the same place at the same time. I guess that's something that I should keep a better eye on. Another person I just remembered who I met is Shelly and she is from the UK and now lives in the States. She lives in New York City so I got to meet her in New York City and I got to vlog with her so it was very very cool. Thank you for watching today's video and let me know who you guys have met because it's really interesting and I like hearing other people's stories. So find me on all my socials linked below if you're curious about my day-to-day -day life and I'll see you next time.